Okay, welcome back to my Let's Play of Octopath Traveler on the Switch. And I must sheepishly admit that I've not played this game for a little while. Uh, a little while being maybe a week or so. Um, due to various reasons, not because the game is bad. Let's leave it at that. Um, so I may forget some things, but now I am playing with a Switch Pro controller. So my turn-based inputs will never be finer. All right, so I think we were moving on to the thief next, I believe, because he was level 22, and we're not going to find a lower number than that, although there might have been a tie. Tressa? Yes. Uh, all right, let's thief it up over in Noble Court. Can I fast travel there? Does that exist? No, but we can go up north. Danger level 11. Uh, okay. We have to switch the thief out, or thief in. And you have to do that in a town. Oh, well. See how fluid my movements are? It's crazy. No combat. <clears throat> That's the dream. That's right, I had business here. Uh, whoa, Primrose Chapter 3. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I need to... Yeah, okay. Uh, we... Mm, it's at the pub, right? The bar? The pub bar? Pub bar, grill, restaurant? Which, uh, of course is not over here. It's up there. I, I knew it. I can read a mini-map. Change party. Uh, Therion. Done. Hear a tale. The story so far. After successfully infiltrating Ravis Manor, Therion was confronted by the butler, Heathcote, who ensnared him with a fool's bangle. Now, he begrudgingly ventures forth to find the three dragon stones lost to Trevor's, treasures of House Ravis at the behest of their owner, Lady Cordelia, that he might have his mark of shame removed. And so he arrives in this town, where, rumor has it, the ruby dragon stone resides. As for who holds it, none can say. And thus, Therion's search begins. Now then. Scholar in noble court. Thanks, Heathcote. Those are like a leaf a dozen here. Need something more to go on than that. Hmm. Glad it's on the outskirts. I avoid it if I can. Aye. That creepy old mansion in the northwest part of town? I heard someone actually lives there. Who? Who? A man named Orlick. They said he's some kind of scholar. Mm -hmm. What business would a scholar have living there? Research? Apparently he spends all his time locked up in his study, studying some shiny red stone. 
Men won't let anyone let won't let anyone in to see him. Hmm. 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 If you ask me, it sounds like he's hiding something. <laughs> it may very well be, but I'm fine letting him keep his secrets. Interesting. Secrets he can keep, but that stone is a different story. Time to do some research of my own. Outskirts of town, was it? Yes, it was. <laughs> the outskirts of town, it's like... <laughs> okay, not what I expected, but sure. This must be the place. full crew of people and we could just bust up everybody in our way and no uh, a scholar with his own personal armed guard yeah it's not suspicious or anything hmm no back door either can't get a free pass anywhere these days Swing by the tavern. Someone's bound to know something. Oh, travel banter. Press. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong. I gotcha. It's not a D pad, it's a plus sign. Tell me, how would you get into this building? Hmm. An interesting query. We're at a battlefield. I would seek out the weakest flank and strike using the element of surprise. Would have figured you more for a full frontal assault. Of course, I would consider that too, were it necessary. But either way, reaching the center of the manse would be no easy task. Brute force can only get you so far, eh? Just so. The straight way of the soldier is not always the surest, nor quickest path. Hence, this venture is best left in your hands. I'm most eager to see your skills in action. <laughs> Never thought I'd have an audience. It's just so... Like, the fact that that banter exists is at such a disconnect with the fact that they never acknowledge each other any hour of their time. I don't know. Now then. Let's see. Who here looks like they know about our friend Orlick? Hello. How's business, my friend? Well, you see... Not good, I'm afraid. I hope you're faring better. Ah. <sighs> I wish I could tell you so, but it's been hard lately for us, too. Oh. My condolences. Mine, too. Moving on. Piss off! I just don't get those people. Locked away in that manor, surrounded by guards. Mm. It's strange, isn't it? Makes me wonder just what Orlick's up to in there. Well, that's more like it. Hey. Mind if I have a seat? Hello? Not at all. Can I get you two a drink? All right, then. That's mighty kind of you, stranger. What brings you here? You don't look like you're from around these parts. <laughs> a wanderer, going wherever my feet take me. And there's nothing better than a tall ale and a good tail after a day of traveling. If you don't mind my asking, who's this Orlick fellow you were talking about? <laughs> if you're that interested, we'll tell you all about him. Consider it thanks for the drinks. The fact is, Orlick's the talk of the town right now. Truth is, he's a scholar, and what I dare say went off the deep end. 
hold himself up in the building on the edge of town. Or it is, he's doing some kind of research and hasn't come out since. Just so. I heard he's investigating a stone, but nobody knows what for. <laughs> Definitely sounds like he's got a few screws loose. <laughs> you got that right. He's one you don't want to get involved with. Now that I think about it, though, didn't he have a research partner? Ah. Oh. Yeah, I heard he was another eccentric one. I think he's still doing his research in town. Hmm. What's his name? If I recall... Barnum... Barhan... Barham... That's... That's it. He worked in that manner with Orlick, but they went their separate ways after a disagreement. Is that so? Guess they were too much for each other to handle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. Anyway, I hope that sates your curiosity, Wanderer. Thanks. It does. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. Now to track down this bar. You know what this is like? This is like a D&D campaign where every person in the party just has their own objective. And like, they're one party, sure, but they're all like going off on their own every time and just doing their own thing and they all have different methods and like, sometimes they'll talk to each other, but they're no. not really together. Let's see if he's home. This is a bad D&D party, that's what this is. What? Who's there? Someone looking for a man named Barham. Let's hurry this up. I'm Barham. What business do you have with me? Is that so? I heard you used to be Orlick's research partner. Is that true? Yes, yes. That was long, long ago. I have nothing to do with the man now, and all the better for it. If that's all you came here for, you can leave now. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, hear me out. Orlick has something I need. What? And what's that? I'll give you a hint. It's the subject of his research. <sighs> the Ruby Dragon Stone. Indeed. That's the one. I see. I surmise you plan to take it from him. Guilty as charged. <laughs> and you need my help. That's right. Mm-hmm. I see. So you came to ask me how to get into his place. Ha! <laughs> you scholars are quick on the uptake. Let's hurry this up. Hmm. Very well. I'll give you the answer you seek. You'll need a password to enter. Oh. Uh -huh. And the password is. <laughs> Presumptuous, aren't we? I'll tell you on one condition. Is that so? Let's hear it. Get what I need for my experiment, and we'll call it a deal. Sure. Sounds fair. So what do you need? Pure water, filtered through the desert sands. The kind found only in the most pristine oasises. Oasises. Hmm. I don't know. Silly me. I actually thought your demand was going to be reasonable. It is, you fool. A merchant from the Sunlands oft, oft comes to town selling this very water. However, this rarity doesn't come cheap. <laughs> Price is never my problem. Consider it done. We gonna steal it! Oh yeah, we gonna steal it. Welcome, welcome. Come on, come on, I present you the most precious and refreshing beverage in the realm. Blue Gatorade, oh, Oasis water, all natural and free of even the slightest impurities. 
One sip and you'll taste the difference. You there, how about a drink? Oh, I'll take a drink, all Feed right. time. If you lead a thief to water. Steal. 100%. <laughs> Trust you won't be missing this. Easy as pie. And that's that. I hope you're thirsty. Uh -huh. That was faster than I anticipated. Now then. I fulfilled my half of the bargain. Now tell me the password. No. No, no. Your half is fulfilled when I say it's fulfilled. <sighs> I see what's happening here. I should hope so. I'll need a few more things for my experiment, if you'd be so kind. If you insist. Thieves are notorious for being kind. How can I help you? I require a wyvern scale. Can you procure one for me? I don't know. Where can I find one? If you want facts. They're sold in town from time to time. It's highly prized by scholars as a reagent, and carries a price to match. Got it. Noticing a trend here, but yes, I can get it for you. Yes, yes. Good. I'm counting on you. Yeah, I mean, you know, RPGs are not notorious for a high degree of skill required but all of this so far is just watching a movie and not an especially great movie at that That's that. Got what you asked for. Uh -huh. Perfect. You're quite good at your craft. I need a password, not praise. And I need just one more thing. Wonderful. Remind me, who's the crook, crook here? That's a fine attitude to have if you don't want the password. Okay, but this is the last one. Yes, yes. Yes, I promise. It's a special type of ore. Metallic in nature, but crystal clear. Once I have it, I can begin my experiment. Huh. <laughs> Music to my ears. Just give me your whole shopping list, dude. Jesus. That's that. Here. Catch. Careful! Anyhow, thanks. At least I could begin- at last I can begin my grand experiment. Huh. Aren't you forgetting something, old man? You promised me a password. Duh. Cool your heels. The experiment comes first. I hope you don't think you can swindle a swindler. Wrong. Be ridiculous. Just be patient and I'll uphold my half of the bargain. If you want facts. Orlick and I have known each other since our years at the Academy. We acquired that manor as a place to continue our research. 
when he changed after coming across that dragon stone. It was almost like he was possessed, his life consumed by his research. He wouldn't let anyone get near him, not even me. <sighs> That's why I want to help you get that stone away from him. It's not meant to be held by our hands. Hmm. The password is the truth of all things. Well, I'll be damned. Truth of all things. That's easy enough to remember. Yes. Then take this with you, too. This is... A key. True. Observant. I see. Use those materials to make this. Yes, yes. You're a natural-born researcher, boy. Now the password will get you into the mansion. But the door to the laboratory can only be opened with that key. Hmm. Makes you think he doesn't want anyone getting in. Not even an old friend like you. Yes, we may have disagreed from time to time, but Orlik is still like a brother to me. My warnings may have been nothing but noise to him, but... I wouldn't be much of an older brother if I didn't nag from time to time. Passion is important in our line of work, but there's a fine line between that and obsession. And Orlik's crossed that line. Hmm. So this moving friendship, or maybe brotherly love, is why you're so willing to help me? <laughs> I wonder. Perhaps it's jealousy or hatred that's come to drive me. Those bygone days are precious to me, even now. I know what I feel is true. Oh, really? Tugs the old heartstrings. But my own reasons are more than enough to go through with this. Thanks. Hmm. Friends, brothers, partners. All right. I think we're in the clear. <laughs> <laughs> Those CNO bastards finally got what they deserved. Ugh. Always strutting around like they bleeding own the place. I wish I could see their boats when they realize someone beat them to it. No matter how hard they look now, they won't find our treasure. Something this rare would be wasted on them anyway. <laughs> you said it. I will just sell this gem and... Hmm. Wait. Hmm? Something wrong? Uh... Where are the gold coins we stole? We said we'd split the spoils. <laughs> <laughs> Sharp as attack, aren't you? It's not much, so I thought I'd just hold on to it and buy you a tiddly later. What? If my friend ever bought me a tiddly, we'd have words. I see. Let's celebrate with this tonight. Oh. Yeah, let's. Alright. Don't let your guard down. CNOs will come for revenge at some point. They call themselves thieves, but they'll resort to violence if need be. Yeah, most thieves Thanks. would. I know. Thanks for looking out, partner. Now then. No problem. Now let's get moving. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when this was a turn-based RPG? I swear, scholars have to be the most pig-headed folk around. Not exactly. 
There's some truth to... No, I'm afraid I must protest. You must understand that not all scholars are like the master here. I concede there are stubborn types obsessed with their research and blind to all else, but there are broad-minded thinkers too, who freely seek wisdom and truth in all its forms. Like myself, for example. I see. Let me rephrase myself. By all means, my friend. Scholars are some of the most pompous and pedantic people I've ever had the joy of meeting. Now that's hardly an improvement. Allow me to make a counter-argument. Case in point. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay. Oh, hold on there. Uh, halt. What business do you have here? I don't need to sneak around now that I have the password. If I play my cards right, I can walk right in. Hey. I have a package for Orlick. Materials for his experiment. Oi. You hear anything about a delivery? Nah. Not me. Hmm. That's odd. Maybe the message just got lost somewhere. Anyway, he said it was urgent, so I rushed over. Understood. What's the password? Truth of all things. All right, you may pass. Much obliged. Time to get to work. Where would we be without guards? Orlix Mance. Mance is a good word. Danger level 22. What has he got going on in his mansion? Why do we have to fight these things? Oh. oh, God. Oh, no. Actually, I might as well just bewilder it up. Get some more XP. Eh. Oh. Well, I can't say that's good. No. I will cut you down! Oh, you can always hit him with a little lightning. Oh, yeah. Not bad. A passing grade. What do we add for skills? Oh, he can learn amputation. And we got heightened healing if we want. Do I want? 30% HP or SP when being healed or restored. Is that better than regenerating HP each turn? Well, it also does SP, I guess. But I can also just do this and have more HP. Could also do this and resist a lot of good yeah that maybe that's the way I'll go uh, okay no uh, no uh, no okay uh, okay Hey, let's save. Well, I'll be damned. So this is the door Barham was talking about. Doesn't look like it has an ordinary lock, that's for sure. 
This crystal key should do the trick. Stone. One down, two to go. That's far enough, thief. You must be Orlik. I assume you heard the rumors and came to steal my Dragonstone. But filthy thieves such as yourself could never appreciate its true value. Wait. Barham put you up to this, didn't he? That nagging, patronizing coward, Barham. This research is pointless, Orlik. Enough of the Dragonstone, Orlik. I'll decide. Enough is enough! Mark my words, boy. This stone is mine, and you will never have it. I beg to differ. I couldn't care less about its true value. But I need to get that stone back to its rightful owner, and that's not you. This stone should be in the hands of someone intelligent. Someone who can appreciate its mysteries. Someone like yourself? Precisely. This beautiful stone requires research, and I'm the only one who can do it. It sounds like you can't trust anyone else to get the job done. Why should I? I never said you should. I know how it feels. Don't pretend you understand! Enough with this thoughtless prattle! I have work to do! Let's get this over with. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay. Um, that's something. This Let's bewilder it up. Get that going, that's useless. And that's good. Interesting dynamic. Well, uh, let's do a double analyze. So no. it's in dark. That's good. I will cut you down. Okay, so he still takes damage. He just can't be broken. That's fine with me. For me. What to do? Uh oh, donate BP. For you. That's well and good. An interesting dilemma. <laughs> A great inverse to scorch the land. Wow. My turn. He's a uh... whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, ooh, ooh. 
Uh, all right, let's lion dance, old Light old brick. Because he hits pretty hard. I will cut you down. Yeah, kind of like that. Let's do this. I beat him with a staff. Damn it, it wasn't enough. <laughs> Dumb shit. Ooh. The battle is truly joyful. Or like it's defenseless. Well, uh, we could do a lot. We could do all sorts of. We could do all sorts of stuff. Let's be this willed. World is full of Damn it! Damn it! Now, what let's next? get just an analyze dagger. Twenty-six thousand HP. Uh, dancer. Actually, better to get a. Get your money's worth, but okay. My turn. Steel SP. Might as well. Really. There you go. What to do? Uh, the answer. An interesting dilemma. Okay. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? <sighs> Blizzard. Tempest of ice shall rage. It's poison though. <laughs> that kind of hurts. The battle is truly joined. Oh, I won't doubt that. Out of my way. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Let's uh, cock strut. Peacock strut. Nope. Denied. What is the logical Excellent. course of action? Victory shall be mine. Uh, a thousand spear. Death by a thousand cuts. That'll do it. Not bad. My turn now. Okay, let's uh. Let's heal more. Witness the miracle of healing. <laughs> Out of my way. This world is bewildered. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, well, could have been worse. <sighs> Last stand. It'll all be over soon. Waste of my time. The all I did discover another weakness. Joined. But I think I'm better off with thousand spears. Or spearhead. Nah, 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 nah. Thousand Death spears. Thousand what to do? Okay, she could probably live with using a basket. Let me help. Construct channeling. Here I go. That can't be good. Let's hire another dancer. Three dancers. Oh yeah. Out of my way. Let's uh, it's peacock strut. Peacock strut. What is the logical course of action? We'll just have fire. Uh, a great inferno to scorch nice. the land. The battle is truly joined. Death by a thousand cuts. Well, could have been. Could have been something worse. Uh. uh okay. Oh, God. Ah! 
but reflect. Nice. 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 Eat some more fire, you shit mouth. No then. Death by a thousand cuts. Well, it's something. Let's do this. Do I really want to hire another dancer? Probably not. Let's hire a bandit. I'll get ah! that And let's double luminescence. Illuminate. Out of my way. And then you can. I don't this know. Give me full cool. BP. How about that? God. No. Let's level. Start. I will cut you down. This construct is. Beefy. Beefcake. Oh no, this is bad. Let's try this. <laughs> I mean, we're really not in any danger. <laughs> I mean, it might look. Sometimes bad, but really this is just an easy peasy fight. My turn. Bewilder? This world is full. No. Hey, nice. That was good. No. I will cut you down. Got that mean old construct. Out of my way. Now, what next? Oh God! Amputation. <sighs> yeah, your construct's my done, dude. It's done. Sacred life. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> Here I go. I should try and collect. Sacred life. I'm just prolonging this fight as long this as the possible. Course of action. Uh, whatever, whatever uh, amputation. How about you? The battle is truly joy. Here we go. Death by a thousand cuts. With each battle, I grow stronger. It's like not even that much of anything oh well bested by a thief how oh, disgraceful since you won't be doing much more research I'll just take this and now Back to Boulderfall. I'm sure Heathcote's got new orders for me. Hooray. I'm back. I'm so glad to see you safe, Mr. Therion. I brought the Dragonstone. This is indeed the Ruby Stone, without a doubt. You have my gratitude. 
He is simply upholding his half of the deal, milady. He deserves no such thanks. After all, he has yet to return the two remaining stones. I think he's earned the removal of the band. Stop and think about what you're saying. I beg your pardon? You can't guarantee I'll fulfill my promise if you remove this now. I believe you would. And why is that? You don't strike me as someone who would abandon responsibility. And you strike me as someone with too much faith in people. Take it from me. No matter how much you trust someone, they will betray you. So do yourself a favor and build your walls up higher before you get hurt. Oh, walls just got ten feet higher. Mr. Therion? Please, milady. That's quite enough. Though I hate to admit it, he's right. It's best not to remove the band just yet. If you insist. So, where's the next stone? After a bit of digging, I found it to be in Wellspring. Any idea where in Wellspring? That town is home to a black market. How does he know about the black market? Only those involved with the business are supposed to know. I knew he was no ordinary butler. The Emerald Dragonstone is being sold there. Or so my sources say. But you will need to be level 42 or higher in order to challenge it. I'll be on my way then. Good luck out there, Mr. Therion. You don't need to see me off again. It's a waste of time for both of us. But... Cold-blooded bastard. Farewell. Please, don't burden yourself with him, Miss Ravis. Even that man has dignity to uphold. Dignity? What is dignity? Though he may live an unscrupulous life, his skills as a thief keep him alive. Naturally, he has pride and confidence in these skills, but we use them against him. And I can imagine he feels great frustration when shown compassion and consideration by the very ones who duped him. If he did not feel such, I would not think him suitable for the job. I... I see. He is a man with a lot of pride. Milady? Milady? My apologies, Heathcote. But I can't help thinking of that lonesome look on his face. It reminded me of myself back then. Is that so? Yes. His words may have been harsh, but I could tell that his true feelings were different. And so Therion's journey continues. His next target, the Stone of Emerald. So he sets forth for the town of Wellspring in the Sunlands, and the den of villainy that awaits within. I mean, I'll be honest, if I was just playing this game on my own, I would be skipping all these cutscenes and dialogue and all that. Um, but it's just my respect for the Let's Play code that... Uh, forces me to, to roll along with it. Alright, so, uh, Therion's next chapter is level 40, no, level 36. 
Next, we'll be heading over here to uh, Quarry Crest for Tresses, Chapter 2. So, my name is Mang. Game watching has been Octopath Traveler. I'll see you fine folks in the next part.